Hello all, today we are going to see about an important topic in the public health industry, dental manpower. So, contents. First, we will see about who is a dentist and dental auxiliaries, frontier auxiliaries, new auxiliary types, degree of supervision of auxiliaries and dental manpower in India. So, introduction. The main primary objectives of dental manpower is that the efficient use of the dental surgeons and the dental auxiliaries for providing the primary dental health care for the total population. So next, first we are going to see about who is a dentist. So the dentist is a person licensed to practice dentistry under the law of appropriate state, province, territory or nation. So to become a licensed dentist, one must satisfy the following qualification. So completion of an approved uh, period of dentistry that is a uh, bachelor of dental surgery in an approved institution and demonstration of competence demonstration of competence is nothing but uh, attending the practical examinations and uh, applying the theoretical knowledge practically duties of dentists include prevention control and treatment of diseases of oral cavity treatment of unfavorable conditions such as trauma or malformations Qualified dentist. One has to pursue Bachelor of Dental Surgery for a period of four years and in internship for a period of one year and then registration under the Dental Council of India and then pursuing MDS for a period of three years. Master of Dental Surgery. See about Dental Auxiliary. A dental auxiliary is a person who is given responsibility by the dentist so that he or she can help the dentist during the dental procedure. So this person is not qualified with a dental degree. So duties include the simple tasks such as sorting out instruments to relatively complex procedures. So next we are going to see about classification. Classification by World Health Organization in 1967 states that Dental auxiliaries are classified into two major types that is operating and non-operating auxiliaries and under operating auxiliaries, clinical and laboratory operating auxiliaries. So the revised classification involves non-operating auxiliaries are further classified into four dental surgery assistant, dental receptionist, dental laboratory technician and dental health educator. So, under operating auxiliaries, school dental nurse, dental therapist, dental hygienist and expanded function dental auxiliaries. So, first we are going to see about non-operating auxiliaries. Under non-operating auxiliaries, there are two types, clinical and laboratory. Clinical non-operating auxiliary. So, this person assists the dentist in the clinical work but does not carry out any independent dental procedure. But laboratory technician, so this person assists the dentist by carrying out the technical laboratory procedures but not involved in the clinical procedures. So, first we are going to see about dental surgery assistant. So, this person assists the dentist or dental hygienist in treating the patients. So he or she is not legally permitted to perform any individual dental procedure. So other names of dental surgery assistant involves the chair side dental assistant and dental nurse. So duties of dental surgery assistant is so reception of the patient, sterilization care and preparation of the instrument, preparation and mixing of restorative and impression materials, so assistant with x-ray work processing and mounting of x-ray, care of the patients after the treatment, uh, for, especially for the special care should be given for the patients under the general anesthesia. So next we are going to see about four-handed dentistry. So four-handed dentistry, it is the art of seating both the dentist and the dental assistant. So the dentist assistant, uh, dental assistant's two hands are assisting the dentist two hands. So, advantages of 400 dentistry is that reduces the amount of time a dental examination or dental procedure may take. Uh, it causes less fatigue for the dentist and greater efficiency in the dental treatment. So, dental secretary or receptionist. So, this is a person who assists the dentist with his or her secretarial work and patient reception. So, next we are going to see about the laboratory technician. 
the dental laboratory technician fulfills the prescription provided by the dentist uh, in extra oral construction and repair of oral appliances and also in the bridge work also called as dental mechanics so the duties of the dental laboratory technician involves casting of models from the impression made by the dentist and the fabrication of dentures splints orthodontic appliances crowns inlays and also the special trays so according to dental council of india the course of study for the dental laboratory technician is 2 years the candidate must be at least of 15 years of age and should be medically fit So next we are going to see about denturist. So denturist also a dental laboratory technician who is permitted to fabricate dent uh, dentures uh, directly for the patient without the prescription of the dentist. So denturists are permitted to work in several countries such as Tasmania, Denmark, etc. Uh, according to World Health Organization Expert Committee in 1959 only the qualified dentists may work directly on the patients. So next we are going to see about the dental health educator. So dental health educator is a person who instructs in the prevention of dental diseases. So he also permitted to apply preventive agents intraorally but they are not allowed to perform any other intraoral procedures. About operating auxiliaries. So this person is permitted to carry out certain treatment dental treatment procedures under the direction and the supervision of the dentist. under operating auxiliary is so first we are going to see about school dental nurse so school dental nurse uh, is a person permitted to carry out uh, plan and carry out certain specified treatment procedures in defined group of people especially in school children so the their, their training period is about 2 years so the duties of school dental nurse is oral examination and oral prophylaxis topical fluoride application pulp capping extraction of primary teeth and uh, amalgam restoration in both primary and permanent teeth and instructions uh, providing for oral hygiene tooth brushing and advice on dietary fluoride supplements and referral for the patients for uh, uh, the, to the private practitioners for any complicated procedure and providing dental health education in the classroom for a parent teacher as well as the student see you soon in the next video